well, I had three knee surgeries, I, and uh, my last one, I said I had to get a full replacement on my right knee, and uh, I've had a hard time coming back from it. I was at physical therapy, and they were bending my leg all different which ways, and they had me on my belly, and they pushed my leg, and they pushed it up so far, and I was screaming. I mean, I was retching. I mean, my whole knee would just swell up, and then I went over to the doctor's office right after there, and so he said, you know what? He says, cut out the physical therapy. And he was in a really bad shape at that point. He couldn't walk without two canes. He couldn't even get out of the car. I bought him an instrument just to get out of the car. I could see in his face that, like, he was miserable. He was miserable, you know, and to the point that we thought he was going to have to go on permanent disability. So after he progressed a little bit, you know, he was getting strong. I could see he was, you know, getting a little bit happier. <laughs> a, little, a little more confidence. And you guys kept, you, you, the support system's phenomenal with this. You guys couldn't have, like family, you're like family to us. The machine's not going to hurt me like the guy. You know what I mean? The machine has a pressure setting. It stops. And there's also an emergency stop if you want to stop it. So you're in control. So I'm, I'm glad I had got this machine. It's probably changed my life. And I could see in his face determination, like, and then he'd go out and I'd come home from school or my afternoon lunch and I'd see him walking outside. And he couldn't do that for a long time. Like he didn't walk, we didn't do anything. So to see him and know that he was walking, you know, outside, in the beginning was with the cane, and then of course, you know, he, he didn't need the cane. Fabulous, it's just fabulous. Like it changed our lives, because I don't know where we would have been. To see him like take groceries out of the car and come up the steps and bring it in the house was like, like being reborn. If we would have had this machine earlier, he would have been back to work psh, months ago. Months ago. Months, months of pain and therapy and sitting around and depression and, you know, not knowing where we were gonna go. So Kevin says, I want to go back to work. He goes, what? He says, I'm shooting for a date, like May. I, you know, I want to go back. He's looking at me like I had two heads. Yeah. I said, no, I'm going to do it. I said, I'm going to make it back. And then when he saw my leg that day, he says he couldn't believe the condition of the muscles in my leg. He just f from went from being atropized yeah. to, to being like uh, Superman's leg. He couldn't believe it was the same leg when he saw it. He said, oh, what's the name of this machine? Now he's back to work. He gets up like hours early. He reminds me of my dad. Like two hours before he has to be at work. He's up getting himself ready, getting his lunch, getting shaved, getting... Because now he has a reason, you know, like now he's happy. But he's glad to be back. He feels productive instead of just sitting around like in a chair with no glimmer of hope, honestly.